what in the world right now? It so ain't the black man. Talking about the white man. But they scorn those who practice religious behavior and purity. You see, uh, 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 purity. And, though, and, and they look down the, on this labor in vain. Now, what they're talking about here, they're, not talk, they're talking about a homosexual race or asexual race. Even a man-hater, which is sexism, is a part of homosexuality. You see what I'm saying? They're talking about a race that is, they're, they're talking about the white race. They're not talking about a homosexual individual because we have taken on everything as the devil. You see, they're talking about a whole race. Now, you find out who the Levites were. Were the Levites white or black? Anybody know? Hmm? White? Well, they're talking about a whole race. You see, why are you going to, see, the book is clear. Why are you going to call a whole race homosexual when it could just be individual? If not, they're even saying even the most masculine uh, white man has homosexual tendencies. And you know this based on the woman, because the woman is more of a victim. You would never see a white woman that won't do homosexual relationships in sex flicks or either in, 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 in sexual flicks, period. All of them are, are, are bi bisexual. You see what I'm saying? Uh, you see, that's why, that's why I told you before, that's the reason, see, it's the reason why Yale University put out the history of bisexuality as well other than the history of homosexuality. Because bisexuality based on Yale University is a whole race of people. Homosexual could just be one, ones of those that choose to be just total opposite. But, so you only have, you only have a minority of homosexuals in the white race, but the whole white race is bisexual. That's the mystery. That's why Yale University put it out in 1992. Homosexuality in the ancient world. Hmm? Most Greeks was gay. They call them asexual. Yeah. Roman and all of that type thing, which was the first origins of the first white people after they conquered the original black Greeks and, and stuff, because all that land was first black at first. But the original ones of the historical Greeks of the white people that was the killers was great. Yeah, that's true, too. You ain't, yeah. It, that's true, too. So up until this day. You see what I'm saying? Up until, up until this day. So uh, uh, let me show you some other scriptures here. Now, see, these scriptures here, they, in so much as the Bible might give you one or two little verses, and, they, and they'll have 5,000 books off of one little thing that says, these scriptures are whole and complete. They go, they go complete. You see, they're not all this, and, you know, it's not all this gospel-type book which is all, all saturated and, and made this way. These are complete scriptures. These are, these are complete, complete scriptures. Now look at this. Page 273, 290, 293 in the book. Gnostic scriptures. Uh, uh, let me get this right. I want to show you this. 293. It says that the Savior's body was ma apparent, not material. You see what I'm saying? For he, for he took the first fruits, and they say that those who have, that who were, that, that those who were saved from a camel. When you see the word a camel, that's another word for, uh, that's another word for, for the melanin at its most purest form when it is going back to the spiritual level. In, 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 um, in uh, Kabbalah, it's Shekinah. In Egypt, it's Shechem. You see them? It, 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 it's Shechem, but it's Shekinah. It's a camel here. Which is, a canoth means spiritual element. So when you see a canoth, this also means melanin. Anytime you see the word craftsman in here, the craftsman in here is talking about the devil, the one who created the physical race. The craftsman says he puts on the animated anointed Christ to, it says, to the providential arrogance of events. He became involved in, he became enveloped in a body and had animated the essence but was constructed in the sum affinity to be the way as viable and touchable. So you got to really study these because this is, this is the scripture right here that said that this particular craftsman, which is the devil, took on a physical body. So I read you Blavatsky's book on Gnosticism that was compiled by J.H. Sternberg. J.H. Sternberg, where they said that Jesus took on a physical body, was actually a dollar broth. In the, in, the, in the Gnostic scriptures, they talk about this same a dollar broth, taking on that, but basically they say the material essence is not capable of receiving salvation. So the Christ was never in the physical based on 
based on the uh, based on the uh, Gnostic scripts. It was never in the physical whatsoever. You see what I'm saying? Now, um, uh, uh, whatsoever. It says that the heavenly Savior descends in the earthly Jesus. This is what the mystery of Jesus is. You got two words. You got Jesus and you got Christ. Jesus, son of Joseph, or in, in Hebrew they say Messiah, son of Joseph, Messiah, son of David. Two different things that they put together, and it's, a meta, and it's me metaphysical. The Messiah, son of Joseph, is talking about the incarnated body, which is all of us, son of a human being. The Messiah, son of David, is the star of David, which is two inverted pyramids, which is the black dot, which is also inside of Jesus. So Jesus in the mystical scripture means the physical body. And the Christ incarnates or descends into the physical body. So what the doggone Romans did is they said that Jesus was a physical man and they called him Jesus the Christ. But in actuality, in Gnostic scripts, which is a Jesus word, was before the Jesus that they made claim to later on, Jesus is you are Jesus, which is Jesus in Jesus. Zeus is, the father, Zeus is the father of God. In Egypt, he's Osiris. You are the Osiris. Os you are the Osiris, the physical body that lays dead. You see what I'm saying? So the Jesus that they're talking about is you. Your physical body is Jesus. The Christ, which is anointed one, which is the seed, which is the black dot. So it's the, it depends on how you read this particular it depends on how you uh, uh, read these particular scriptures to try to understand what's going on. The craftsman is a dollar bra. He say he is the craftsman. He says a, a will bring about the pro providential arrangement of events into the world until the appropriate time, especially because he cares for his church. What church is he talking about? He's got to be talking, he's got a church, a Christian church. And his knowledge of that will reward them who awaits him, mainly occupying the place of the mother. So it means that this Adalabrath, who is the craftsman of this, will bring on events to throw his particular Christians off because he wants to occupy the role of the mother because the mother is the great mother Sophia that say, I will redeem my people in the end and, and clear up this mistake that went, went, on, in, went on in the future. Uh, that, that went on in the future. Now, uh, 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 um, which is the actual, uh, 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 the, the actual dollar box. Now, this is interesting, because you will never see this in the Bible. This is one of the most beautiful things in the world. I'm going to explain this. It's going to be on page 298 in this book, and let's look what it says here. It says that there are three species of humans on the earth. The fact that there are three species of humans, it says that they teach, and it says disclose as followers. The material species is, disc is disclosed when man said there will be, there will follow a sign. Now this is what it means. It says there's three species of human, and the three species of human is one human is made of the, the, the one human, which is the original human, which is us, is made of dust, spirit, and soul. Now, I, I, see, now we ain't talking about no racist shit. We're talking about what the original scriptures say, that now you can say, oh, Bobby been talking about these white people and all of this kind of shit here. You got to deal with what the scriptures say. Now, don't get mad because these are the same scriptures that they copied the first four gospels. In here, the first human being, the original one is made of dust, which means the physical body, because it's made of the elements that he created the world with. Dust, spirit, and soul. So black people is dead, they operate from the spirit. Their soul is not awakened yet because the soul is an actual, the actual God that is in you, that is lying dormant. The reason why you 